Good afternoon, everybody. It's Shana Rucker here from Girlfriends Guides to Network Marketing. And today I'm coming to you with a quote, or actually it's not a quote because I just realized that I have it wrong. But today I come to you with an analogy about um, having that bigger vision and, and not getting stuck on the small, the small vision. And um, the, 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 the quote that I've been using in my business, and if you're just joining me now, please, hello, how are you? Let me know where you're coming from. Let me know you're here. Um, today we're going to talk about stepping over the quarter to get the dollar. Now what I've just realized is that I've had this saying wrong for over six years now that I've been using this analogy in my business. It's actually sometimes you have to or don't step over the dollar to get the dime. So I've got it backwards but that's okay. I'm going to roll with it because it's still really good and it's something that I've used in my in my business and used in my coaching and it still works. So. The way that I say it is that sometimes you have to step over the quarter to get the dollar. And what does that even mean? So if you're just joining me right now, I'm going to talk to you about having that bigger vision and not getting stuck on some of the smaller things that can hold us up in our businesses. So if you're just joining me, let me know you're here. I'm excited to have you guys here today. So what does this mean? And so sometimes we have to give up some of that right now money in our network marketing businesses to to get the bigger you know vision the bigger paychecks the bigger business you know in the future and so what does that mean so sometimes that means and it's funny because i just had this conversation with two of the girls on my team who are very new and one of them is is doing a lot of sponsoring right away and she's finding this sponsoring when she's doing her group presentations hey michelle and so at these group presentations, what's happening is sometimes when you do a group presentation, and let's say it's amazing, and you've got um, all these people who are loving your products, and they have lots of big orders, and there's there's all this like right now money in front of you. You're like you can see the commission and all the stuff that you've just sold. But then the hostess decides she wants to do the business. So in the in this in the stepping over the quarter to get the dollar means sometimes you have to give up that right now commission to somebody else because they want to join your team and the vision of having a new business partner is so much bigger and better than getting that right now commission so that's just one example does that make sense so sometimes you have to give up something in the short term to to get it bigger in the in the long term and the bigger vision of things so that's one example and I've had that on my team where you've had to give up some of that right now commission another example would be um, you have somebody at a, at a presentation um, who's give, you know brings you an order of let's say like two hundred dollars worth of product you know instead of just taking that order and getting that right now commission why don't you offer that someone some some of the products for free for having a get together for you and introducing you to new people so again sometimes you're having to give up that short term that that right now money stepping over that quarter to get that bigger vision of of being in in somebody else's network and meeting six seven new people and possibly growing your business by two and three and four people and that's going to get you that dollar down the road so that's another example of how sometimes you have to step over that quarter to get the dollar in your business. Um, so that's another example. Um, you know, how many times though, you know, another thing is about taking risks in your business. I know for me, um, sometimes I've had to, you know, I've had somebody who's lived six hours away and has said, hey, I would love to learn more about your products. Would you, you know, come to my town and do a presentation for me? And, you know, my first thought is, oh my gosh, the driving, the gas, all that right now money that I'd have to spend to go and deliver that presentation. You know, and do I recommend everybody driving six hours to do a presentation? Not necessarily. However, by taking the time and taking the risk and investing in that, that trip to go and share my product and service with that particular group, I had a whole new business, a whole new leg in my business because of that. So again, sometimes we have to sacrifice and take risks and, and give up some of that right now money or even invest a little bit of, of cost to get that big vision and get that big that you know get that bigger paycheck in our business. So I hope you're following me. I hope that makes sense. The funny thing is is that I've had this saying wrong the whole time. It's actually sometimes you have to or or this this the saying is is actually don't step over the dollar to pick up the dime is the actual saying. And in my business, I'm saying sometimes you have to step over the quarter to get the dollar. Either way, it's still the same thing. Just don't think small in your business. And, and here's the other thing that I've done in my business over time is I never focused on my paycheck. I never focused on what, what I was going to make off that presentation or how much money was I going to earn off of that sale. I was always thinking in terms of volume and people. You know, how many people did I introduce this to? How many people, new clients do I have? How many, 
how many people am I going to be sharing to tonight? Um, what is the volume going to do? Is that going to help me get to the next level? Am I going to, you know, it was never about the paycheck because here's the thing, you guys, my first paycheck was under $50. My second one was under $300. But guess what? By focus, keeping my focus on the bigger vision and the people and the sharing and, the, and, and that whole piece of it, my paycheck is much bigger now than it was back then when I was, you know, I, if I had kept my focus on, well, how much did I make off that sale? And, you know, if I, if this person buys off this, you know, instead of focusing on that, I was focusing on, Hey, if I can give this to that person for free, they can introduce me to, you know, five or six people. That was the mentality that I had. So sometimes I had to give up temporarily to be able to get that, that bigger vision in the long run. So that is my message for today. I hope that makes sense. Um, is just keep your focus on the activity, keep your focus on the growth, keep your focus on the volume. And yes, sometimes you might have to give up some of that right now commission. And sometimes you might have to give it over to somebody else if they decide to join your team, but it's going to be worth it, more worth it for you in the long run. And you know, that's just what happened to one of the girls on my team is she um, started her business and all of the presentations she's been at, she signed in somebody and had to give up that right now commission to all of these new people who joined her team. But now she's got a team that's got four and five people on it. So to me, that in the long run is going to be more beneficial for her than to have that right now money from each of those presentations. So um, that's the message today. And sometimes we just need to hear this, you know? Sometimes we, we wonder, is this okay? Should I be doing this? And, and uh, my belief is yes, sometimes you have to give up temporarily to gain it in the long run. And that could, that's a whole, that could be a whole other training. So keep your focus on, the, on sharing with people and keep your focus on the activity and keep your focus on the volume and how it's going to grow and how your business is going to grow and just keep just keep that's where your focus is don't so much focus on the right now you know paycheck focus on building and growing and the paycheck will follow i promise you that if you can keep your focus in the right place so that is my message for today guys i hope that you found value in this if you did i would love it if you could tag somebody or share it that may need to hear this message and uh, I'm really excited because I'm leaving tomorrow morning. I'm going to be speaking at Bob Heilig's Breakthrough Academy training this weekend on behalf of Girlfriends Guide. So I'm really excited about that. If you're going to be there, I would love to hear from you. Um, I can't wait to meet you. If, if you are there in, in uh, Philadelphia this weekend, um, definitely come up and see me. I would love to meet you. And uh, I'm really excited to be able to be there. My first public speaking uh, thing with Girlfriends Guide. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, hi, Serena. And I look forward to um, sharing my highlights and experiences through that on, on this platform over the weekend. And uh, so if you don't hear from me at this regular time around two o'clock, it's because I'm busy in Philadelphia, but I will be back here on Monday and watch for little snippets um, while we're away. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I hope you found some value in today's message and we will talk to you soon. Okay, guys.